In fact, they will be more malnourished than a nine-year-old today. And my friend, you're incredibly wrong. They will, they will be tinier than a nine-year-old today. Okay, now. I put it to bed. If the Prophet had enemies, people would have called him names, him getting married. This is it. That's, that's, that puts people the did bed. call him names and he killed no, them as a result. What? They called him what? The... They called him many names okay. and he had them right. killed. They called him many names, right? but did they ever call the P-word? Now, now, no. how do I you know? Find that, how, no, that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't matter what they called him. It matters what he did. Right? Again, if you I don't understand. care about Muhammad. I am asking you, is it okay ever to marry a nine-year-old? <laughs> I was uh, no one. I, you, now you're saying ever. You're, now you're looking at the whole thing. Is thing. it ever okay? The beginning, of the beginning of the world. Is it ever now. okay? What, is, the, it, is it good practice? Is it encourageable? Would you do it? I can't answer that. How am I going to answer Alrighty. that? Alrighty. I that say that it's the wrong. Beginning? Because law, it laws were different back then. I say it's wrong. That's fine. Right. But I'm right. telling you laws were different so back then. So I, for example, will not, will, will not encourage it. I will not encourage it. What's right? the law in this country? Okay, so, 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 so you know, Islam or the law of the land. When you're factoring the when you're factoring the age of marriage into law, right? We at least consider the opinion of health professionals. <laughs> no health professional will tell you that at the beginning of puberty, for either a boy or a girl, that is a good idea for them to get married. Why? Because they're in, uh, uh, embarking on a ten-plus-year development cycle that will then end in their 20s. So nobody will tell you to, to get married at the beginning of a cycle. Like I said, man, you're taking this, whole, this thing to another thing. I'm telling you, you don't know how it works. What do you want me to say? Okay, now, to, to, delve, to delve very quickly into Islam, right? So you're asking, you're telling me, I don't know. Wait, one second, one second. You mean yesterday just now? You said, I don't know what it was like back then. Okay, fine. Let us say, for brevity's sake, that every single person back then mar married two-year-olds. If Muhammad is the prophet of Allah, why is he joining them in their bad behavior? Okay, so now what, what's your question? Now you're saying if they were getting married two years old, would that be okay? No, my question is, if everyone was doing it back then, but it's not encourageable today, because we know it is wrong and dangerous for the girl or the boy to do that, mm -hmm. If they were all doing it and acting immorally in that time period, why would Muhammad join them? Why would he join them? If acting immorally. Yeah, but again, you're doing a thing where you're, you're comparing the time. Muhammad is supposed to be the again. best example for the Ummah for all yes, time, right. including today. He is, but you're doing that thing. You're going back 1,400 years ago, 1,500 years ago. Old, you're comparing. Old. The Quran tells me to do so. Nine, nine years old, nine years old. Where are you from? Are you from UK, man? Have you seen people in other countries? Have girls on other countries? It's not good. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You should look at. You should look at. And nine years old in another country, in a third world country, is mature to the girl. No, no, no. Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Ali. Ali. Ali, here is the issue. Yes, maybe potentially in other countries there might be uh, girls and boys. It's like Ali, Ali, Ali. In certain countries in the world, they may be girls and boys who have to assume higher responsibility because of circumstances they can't control. However, development-wise, they don't grow faster. If you're in like, I don't know, like somewhere in India compared Bro, to here. Honestly, how, how do you know the development back then was different? How do you know oh, about all this stuff? A nine-year-old is a nine-year-old. So, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, wait. I'm saying development. Okay. Why is he saying about wait. development? How do you know? A nine-year-old is a nine-year-old. Look, who can... Who, Zero to nine. A thousand yeah, years ago, yeah, were they humans? You know a, a thousand years well, ago, years were they humans on the planet? nine-year-olds were sixteen-year-olds. Thousand years ago. No, I'm not. You're justifying it. I'm not justifying it. I'm not justifying it. You're not understand what I'm saying. Ali, a thousand years ago. You can't go all the way. You can't rewind all the way 1500 years ago. A nine years old was a nine years old the way it is today. Yes. It was even worse. They were even tinier. So there you go, mate. Brother, brother, brother. I don't know. You tell me. A nine year old. I don't know the answer, but you know. What in the Bible says the nine years old 2000 years ago. I can give you an example. There you go. So I'm talking about biology. No, if you don't, if you don't have answers, Ali, Ali, I can give you an answer very easily. 
a, a five year old, a nine year old, yeah, in 5,000 times, if they're nine years old, yeah. they'll be nine years old. It doesn't matter. And you don't think the mindset is going to be different? The mindset nine doesn't matter. Nine. It doesn't matter. How do you know that? Just take It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm going to How old are you? Ali. How old are you? How old are you? It doesn't matter. How old are you? It's irrelevant. How old are you? Let me ask. How old are you? Would you marry a 10 year old? How old? How do you know how old you are? I've got a question. How do you know how old you are? How old are you? I will never do that. I'm okay, there you go then. Would you marry a nine-year-old? Yeah, yeah, again, you're doing that thing. He, he, he already said, no. said no. He already said no. Because time has changed. But back then, my okay. brother, it was, the, it, was the, it was normal. It was a normal longevity and all this that, stuff. Bro. Yeah, that's no, fine. No, that's fine. No, 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 Feel on the finger, that's fine. All right, Ali. Right, so I'm telling you, that's how it was back then. Nowadays, right? nowadays, nowadays I'm saying nine-year-old is nine-year-old. Like, okay? Look it up in history. Longevity back then. People didn't live that long. A nine-year-old 2,000 years ago was 16. He was a very long. Ali, longevity. Do you understand you that don't need to defend this. The girls are getting married at a younger age, yeah. right? So, yeah. So Still nine. Yeah. So you're doing that thing again, nine right. years old. Again, you're comparing the time you back then. Can't get away. You now. don't need to defend this. You asked me, would I marry a nine the years old today? Zero. Would I marry a nine years old today? Of course okay. not. But back then it was normal. And I put it to bed and I told him, did the Prophet have any enemies? He goes, yes, Prophet had enemies. So how come no one, none of the Prophet ever called him a pedophile? Because it was normal, my friend. That's not good. Listen, are you English? Are you English, my friend? That's not a good argument. 100 years ago, you're in this country. That's not a good argument. All right, Christianity, Islam, put them aside. Because technically, Muhammad had slaves. In this country. And none of his enemies ever called him a slave owner. That's a different topic. No, it's the same thing, right? No, no, again, just because no one called him out for his bad behavior, doesn't mean he didn't do it. Uh, you know, you talk about hadith. I don't know about hadith. I don't know about hadith and stuff like that. Ali, Ali we, we can come to a very hadith. easy end on this, right? You don't have. Ali, it's this simple. You don't have to defend this. If I tell you I don't know something, I don't know something. But at least I'm respectful. I'm telling you, I don't know something. If I'm not going to make up lies like you guys do. We're not making up lies, Ali. He's all coming from your own sources. Right? right? Ultimately, know, Ali, it's this right? simple, Ali. You don't have to defend this. You don't have to, right? I'm just, I'm just you can still say it's wrong, it's fine. Look, 100 years ago, yeah? I'm not, I'm not, you're giving me hadith. You want me to give you, you want me to quote your Bible? You want me to quote something from the Go for it, if you want to. That's fine. Stick with one topic. He's asking the question. That's fine. Look, I don't expect you to understand that, right? Fine, right? I'm telling you what it is. Here's the problem, Ali. You're defending circle. something that's you know, indefensible, you circle, right? You're not supposed to defend this stuff. It's clearly bad, right? So just because you follow you're a person who did these things, okay, now, here are the two problems with that. Your Quran tells me to do this. Your Quran tells me that Muhammad is the best example for the Ummah for all time, okay. including does this the, time. Does the Quran say right? that you should get married to a nine years old today? Okay, now, the Quran okay. tells you that it's okay for you to divorce somebody who hasn't yet gone through puberty. So, who doesn't go through puberty? That's not what I People you. who are below yeah, nine divorce, years okay. old, right? right? Yeah, you're no, so, so you, you see, if the Quran tells me that I can divorce somebody who hasn't yet gone through puberty, yeah, go what does that mean? That I'm marrying somebody who hasn't yet gone through puberty, normally those are kids. I don't know about all that stuff. Okay, right? well, let's, let's you asked me if the Quran told you, I'm telling you what the Quran says. Yeah, okay. That's, that's, you're about you asked me if, if the Quran allows you to marry a nine year old, yes. and I am telling you that the Quran allows you to divorce somebody who hasn't yet gone through puberty. So, what would be the primary cause for somebody not going through puberty yet? They haven't reached that stage in the development. Yeah, but the main thing, look, right? I get that, right? Okay. But, but you're, you're missing the main thing. So, point. Ali, again, I'm trying to tell you, you don't need to defend this. It is clearly wrong, it is clearly evil. Listen, I'm not defending it because I'm a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not defending well, you, because you, you I'm are. I'm this because I, I, it's, I, I it's guarantee logic, you, if, if, you if you take a poll it's of logic, people, right, who aren't Muslim, zero of them will defend this. But somehow, when you I get to the Muslims, they all want to want to defend it. Do, do, do I have any non-Muslims here by any chance? Anyone? Anyone? Uh, is it okay to marry a nine-year-old? Is it okay to marry a nine-year-old? Okay, cool. Back then. All right. Uh, not that nine years old today. I'm saying back then. Was is it okay to marry a nine-year-old ten thousand years ago? Without religion being involved or anything. Yeah, this is just age. We're just talking about age. Look, 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 if, 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 if I marry a ten year, a, ten, a nine year old ten thousand years ago, right, and then uh, I sleep with them and then they, they get pregnant, right, the likelihood of them dying is really, really high. I'm, I'm not agreeing with him. No, but, but I'm just saying. Ten years ago was, it was a long time. It was different. I don't, I don't know. Know. It's different. The, the problem. So, so now, the, the, the problem with one thousand four hundred years ago or ten thousand years ago. I get your point because they see him as a role model that's timeless. 
I get that point of view. Stop playing on us! Simple! Simple! simple. But for simple. me, it's not like some like behaviour I'd follow. Definitely not. It's okay, it's good to do it. Just simple! Okay simple! That's it! But unfortunately, because he's a Muslim, he has to defend the stuff. That's all! And and I would hate to be in that scenario. I would hate to be in that scenario. That's horrible. You're, 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 you're missing the point. Uh, and, uh, if you're Ali, bringing all these drag then, queens and that dance in your church, right? You guys should do something. Well, of course you're going to say you don't agree with that. I could do the same thing. We don't agree we with that. The but the thing with us, right? We drag queens? Well, where, where do we go? Anyway, he's asking me something else about it. The last thing I, I'll say on this alley is um, the, the, the problem remains. Well, no, no. Here's the issue. If you go back further in history, a hundred years ago, two hundred years ago, a thousand years ago, ten thousand years ago, you will find that people were very, very malnourished and tiny, right? Do you want to have proof of this? Um, for example, we're, we're, we're here in England, right? There's many old buildings here that are hundreds of years old. For example, St. Paul's Cathedral, right? Uh, the higher you go in St. Paul's Cathedral, the older it is, right? Because it's been like, redeveloped multiple times. I've been to the top of the spire. They have doors up there, right? But do you know how tall the doors are? This tall. I had to bend down to go inside of it, right? Now, why is this? It wasn't for kids, but it was for fully grown men who were working on the building. So if only 500 years ago, the average height of a man in Britain was 5 foot 5. Can you imagine in the desert, 1400 years ago, how big a 9 year old would have been? Not really, yeah. not really, because there was another period. Yeah, According to Islam, there was a period where there was, um, of the giants, there was a, in the time of one of the... Make-believe, right? that, that's all make-believe. That's fine, but that's, that's, that, that, that's right? make-believe, right? But also... That's um, make-believe. Also, our proper man... Because sh funny. show me well, one me giant bone. But well, let me one. tell you, right? Right? Do you know anything about Umar? Right? Umar. Umar was a big guy. Yeah, a, 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 big, a big guy in his time was probably like, like a small guy in our time. Because they didn't have ample access to foods and proteins that would let them grow large. For example, even today, no, but, are, are but, Arabs but the yes. biggest people on the planet, even today? No. No, no! So imagine even back then, it's probably even worse. Well, well, you can't say that as a whole thing, as a whole thing that like people... Like what for, causes growth? Nutrition. Yeah, I know, but you can't say as a whole thing that people was tiny back then. You they were that. probably very, very small back then. I disagree with you. But anyways... Okay. What, were any of the Sahaba seven foot tall? Any of them? Any? This is not one. Not that I know of, no. Okay. You know but, why? But because we don't have everything of how tall would this person. That's that's not the point. Is of the there whole any thing. reference? Was any of them as tall as a camel? A I don't anything? know about stuff like that, about hadiths and stuff. Okay. Like that. I'm not sure. The problem, my friend, is that wherever you go, even when you supposedly have Muhammad's clothes in museums in Saudi Arabia, yep. tiny. Yep. The, I wouldn't say it's tiny, but okay. Well, for a fully grown man, right? You're you're, you're basically probably bigger than him. Likely he was 25 or 5 or below. No, it wasn't. He likely was. It wasn't. How but, tall was okay. he? I don't know how tall he was, but he wasn't, he wasn't below 5 or 5 or 5. How five would you six. know that? That was, that, that was probably no, like, like, average we're, back then. We're going back then. You're, okay. you're going to now, one person. Now, my, my, over, my overall point will, will be that if you go back further in time, people were tinier. So if you go back further in time and you're marrying nine-year-olds, that's even worse. So you think nine years old back then was small? Was even tinier, even more malnourished, that's even right, more unhealthy true. than a nine-year-old today. Because of the doors back then were small. That's just one indicator of how, of how big men were. Men, not even girls. Men. According to us, thing, it wasn't big. Men wasn't small. Men. They, they weren't tiny. They weren't tall. They weren't tall. How about you? Everyone's different. Like in here, look, you're a tall guy, right? Would I be this tall if I was born a thousand years ago? Probably not. I wouldn't have the um, uh, right, right amount of calories. Yeah, but you can't say that, that you, you won't be that tall a thousand years ago. It depends, it depends on your genes as well. Look at the average the height of anybody from that time period. For example, even even here in this country, uh, what one of their very early kings was six foot tall, and they called him a giant because he was six foot tall, six foot, six foot what? Six foot. That's it. Today, who would you call a giant who's six foot tall? Well, it depends, doesn't it? Six foot five, six. Foot five. Because everybody else was way smaller than him, and now the standard has risen. So now, for you, seven foot tall giants. So, again, That's you do not have to I mean, defend the point. idea. I'll give you that. That, that's a good point. Okay. But, but like I said, back then, six foot, they were, it was considered a giant, right? Yes. This, and, and, and this, this was, in, this, this was in, in the ten hundreds, okay. right? So you don't have to back up the idea or defend the idea that somebody's level a nine-year-old and back yeah. then it was a good thing. No, it was a bad so thing goes, then. Yeah. It was a bad thing then, the bad thing today. So if you're participating in it, and I am meant to follow you as an example for all time, I can't do that.
That's fine. That's fine. I'm just saying that uh, it's, you could agree to disagree, right? It's, it's up to you. If you want to believe that, that's fine. But like I said, it's no. Nah, you know what? I'll be honest. I agree with him, but I see where you're coming from. If people in the community, it probably wasn't immorally wrong back then. But I agree. Well, you're a prophet. Okay, no, no, no. So, right? Yeah, so that's where he's coming there's, from. There's he's meant to be an example for, 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 no, no, for time. Yeah. But then why would he do it in that time? And I see why he's asking that. Yeah. Because he's meant to be a timeless for everyone. Because yeah. I, I can give you examples yeah. of prophets in the Bible who their people were doing one thing and they didn't follow them doing it. So, right. for example, with Moses, his people worshipped idols. He didn't follow them and do it. Because yeah, no, everyone was doing it back then. I'm with, no, I'm with you. I'm Prophets wrong, need to I'm stand at a higher standard than everybody else. No, I'm with you on that. I'm with you. If anything was wrong back then, yeah. Like for example, Sodom and Gomorrah, right? We have the story very similar to that, right? So obviously that, that land was full of gay people, right? Homosexual people. So obviously it was wrong. So obviously God sent messengers and all that stuff. And then obviously the punishment came, right? Long story short, punishment came. And then obviously, I don't know how, what you guys believe about. Uh, roughly how God the same. destroyed, yeah. Roughly the obviously, same. obviously, we believe the same thing, right? Got the, the whole land got destroyed, right? But do you see so, what the issue is? You, you're, yeah, you're, your, was, your example is basically telling me that if Muhammad was there at the time, he would have just done it as well because everyone was doing it. Yeah, you, when you look into it as well, when he gave, um, when he asked, was Abu Bakr's thing, you took Aisha, right? Of course, right? So Aisha when he, when he is, is the main her example. Hand in marriage, right? She you didn't say anything. Apparently, and her silence was right, seen as compliance, what? which is even that's, that's horrible. So that's how you look at it, right? And, and, and also, she was six, no, not nine, so it's even yeah, worse. When, when did he consummate the marriage? And Allegedly, when 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 she was nine. Why, why However, you, uh, why do you think you're uh, there's there's two explanations according to your tradition. Number one was that um, Abu Bakr took a while to give him his bride price. Uh, and it took three years before that. And then the other one is that in, in some of your thick books, uh, depending on, upon your madhab, it's okay to marry a child and then you can do uh, certain activities with that child in preparation of getting them ready for consummation. And I'm not even going to say what that is, but, but it's it, exactly, exactly. Well, it's nasty. You, there's a reason why nasty. he waited before he... Yeah, yeah. Well, um, none of those reasons that I've seen so far had to do with the idea that she wasn't... Um, that it was best for her health. Essentially, this is what why it's saying. But can I ask something, right? Go ahead. Aside, right? Hundred years ago in UK, right? When yes. girls were getting, when guys were getting married to girls who were very young, what, what do you, what do you think? Okay, was a, that long a hundred years ago, guys were not getting married to girls who were very five, young five. in the UK. Yeah, maybe ten years old, eleven years old, whoever, however old they were, they, but they okay. were young. Okay, so, young, so right? that's the first thing, right? It wasn't was happening that, that way. Was that wrong? And we have charters to even show you that that wasn't happening that way. Now, over time. As we have learned more about human biology and the ways in which we develop, we have gradually increased the age of, of, uh, of marriage or, or the age of, of, of progress, right? Because we are finding out that actually doing it earlier is not good for you. It's bad for your health and it increases mortality, aka death, of both the child and the mother. Why do you think, for example, in the last hundred years, as we've been increasing the age of, of marriage slash uh, um, sexual activity, that in tandem, our population has skyrocketed because now people aren't dying anymore in yeah, mass people, yeah. long from having people have more longer life now right right but, but years despite that people aren't dying early anymore from childhood marriages that activity is now relatively small compared to what it was 100 years ago for example so but was that wrong it's, was that wrong it's wrong yeah. it is wrong so give, guys, and english guys to be devil's advocate uh, i don't think that's the reason for why um in order for populations to rise no no but because the population rise i don't see what's that got to do with the people marrying them when they were younger yeah back, back in the day if you're marrying somebody when they're no, young, no, i just mean there's not like a direct correlation there, there is there is so yes no, no you could use it like it food. might be a factor yeah it? yeah, yeah. Like, uh, but it's not I, I, like absolutely food hygiene medicine play a factor yeah yeah exactly right exactly. however okay. at the same token yeah, if you're if you have all the food all the hygiene all the all the, all the medical care you want yeah. if you're marrying kids and making them pregnant it is still going to have a very high chance of ending either the mother or the child dying yeah yeah no, no. so 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 even despite all those advances if you're making kids pregnant it's not good for you the society for me for me the reason why i wouldn't do it i just on the inside wouldn't feel right it's, it's no, nasty but, but my point yeah. is this that 
I wouldn't even be thinking about all of that other stuff. The reason why someone wouldn't do it today is because you just feel it, bro. Because you have a higher moral standard than he does. That's why. No, but then you said he 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 agreed. No, no, no. But he he said he he agreed he wouldn't do it. Yeah. So right now, you can't say you, I have no, 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 said he wouldn't you, do it. You, you right? do. Well, the other guy said, without marriage at nine years you're, old, you're, today, you're, I said no. Well, one right? thing, Ali. Your, your standard of morality comes from the gurus. What, what do you mean by was normal? But his comes from Muhammad. Okay, okay, okay. No, so you're basically comparing the gurus yeah. to Muhammad. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. incomparable. It's a okay, but that, that doesn't mean I got higher moral standards than him. Thank you. Well, that's a higher no, it, it that's does. A higher because because you're, no, what do them two, what does Prophet Muhammad and the gurus have to do with me and him? Because you're because following you the gurus. Oh, no, I, no, no, no. No, that, that's them two compare each other. That's cool. No, no. Exactly. I don't know him either. No, brother. That has nothing to do with him. Brother, your standard of morality is the gurus. No, and you, leadership it's not Muhammad, that's what I'm saying. So my son, for example, is Jesus. Yes, but, right? See, but but honestly, still, but still to this day... I think that's just a regional time thing, time like, because I was day. born there, that's, that's the my family will see, that's why it happens. But what I'm saying is, I don't walk around emulating them. I could be a bad guy anyway, you know what I mean? I believe they were better than me. Absolutely. Okay. So that's why they're your standard. No, no, let's be honest. Right? No offense to the Muslims. I, I think the Jews are, what's it called? Morally, I understand superior I would, to Muhammad, I, I, I absolutely. Not, maybe not the word superior, but I would rather follow them in my heart. That's what I said. Because I'd rather defend them in a debate. Well. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm saying that's nothing to do with me and him. You know what I mean? Well, I, I'm saying that I get, you okay, should not fight saying. about it. However, yeah. the reason why he's okay, with this idea, and you are not, is because of the standard of morality. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Well, one thing though, I do, the difference between me and him is he thinks Muhammad is uh, the sole thing. But I, yeah, yeah, but I, I do agree with him that back then in my opinion. He is, though, yeah. I don't, so, like I said before, I agree that it happens. Yeah, yeah, I agree. A lot more back then. Yeah. I agree, yeah. happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I disagree that it's correct. And I'm so do your gurus. So, uh, so do I. Belong to the children. Yeah, of course. That's Anyone it. Of course. Of course. I'm not making any other kind of arguments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Fair, no. Fair, fair enough. The only reason I was putting a span in the works is like when you said I got higher standard of morality than he does. Yes, yes, you do. For 600 years, people were already. Did your gurus own, own slaves? No, no, no. Did they sleep with kids? No. And the standard, Do they sell slaves? No. The Do they war and kill people? Uh, um, they killed people. Do they war and kill people? Do they start wars and kill people? It was only in defense. defense. But Muhammad yeah. took them back. All right.